Welcome back to Jesus Machinery. Today's video is a little bit different where I'm going to try and talk about how I see agriculture changing, how I see the agricultural machinery business changing. Um, lots of things happening with the budget, which I'll come back to in a minute. But I, I still think over the last two or three years, I've seen the agricultural machinery hire business growing. Now construction has been hiring machinery for donkey's years. Ten, you know, well, as long as I can remember, they've been hiring machinery. Agriculture really hasn't tended to go down that route. But I think there's a route now that due to the cost of this machinery, it is all changing. Um, farming is changing at a, at a great speed and I think that the machinery business has to change with it. Now, I'm, I'm really not an expert on what happened in the budget, but from the way I understand it is the fact that if someone dies, their entire estate is valued. And after the first, I believe it's one million pound, there's a 20% inheritance tax. Now that is, from what I believe, is not only the farming and the home base, the land, it's the entire lock, stock and barrel. It's the machinery, it's the tractors, the combines, it's everything else. So it's a major game changer to the farming community and a major change to how I think farms are gonna to have to be structured in the future. So I think from my perspective, I think farm, farmers won't be buying machinery for the time being. They'll be stopping, assessing the situation and try to work out how to move forward in the present situation. So over the last few years, we've seen the price of machinery, tractors, trailers, tail handles, and, and various attachments increase enormously, which is, unless you can utilize that vehicle for long periods of time throughout the year, they're almost becoming unviable to, to own or have. So, there are huge benefits in hiring the machinery. So with the budget, does this mean now then, that if you buy a 120, 130, 150,000 pound tractor, if that then gets included into the inheritance tax, there's basically a 20% valuation of that tractor goes in inheritance tax. So all of a sudden, a 150,000 pound tractor does it then become a 180,000 pound tractor? Because you've got to pay the inheritance tax on it. I'm not completely sure how that works, but if that's the way this is going, it will make the ownership of these vehicles unviable, totally unviable. So is the answer now that you buy them into a limited company to keep them away from your farming business? Or is the answer just to hire them as and when you want them? Therefore, they are completely out of the inheritance tax situation. I don't know, I'm not an expert, and perhaps if you do know more about the situation, please we'd put in the comments below and let us know. We'd love to know, it'd be interesting. So with the changes in farming, we're seeing this massive growth towards the hire of machinery. Um, so what are the benefits of hiring, of hiring tractors? Well, or trailers, or telehands come to that? Well first of all there's, there's no capital outlay you hire the tractor you want the specification you want for the length of time you want now here at GCS and I'm sure with other hire companies as well we will hire you tractors for daily weekly monthly yearly or contract hire so if you wish to hire a tractor for three years we can give you fixed pricing you know exactly what you're going to pay per month 100% tax deductible maintenance free other than um, damage so you know exactly what the cost of that tractor is going to cost you per month now again if you only want need a tractor for six weeks of the year you only have the tractor for six weeks of the year it can be short as long as whatever our customers need um, and it's certainly the way that we see farming is, is changing i think years ago when you bought a new tractor onto the farm people would keep the old tractor. But now, because of the cost of these, thing, these things nowadays, the old tractors are going. 
so whereas you always had this progression on a farm of, of, of a series of old tractors and you go to a farm sale sometimes and you'll find that there's you know six different tractors of ages those days are going to disappear that, without doubt so it is all changing the cost of ownership of all these tractors nowadays is increasing immensely a service on a tractor like this john deere 6215r can easily be between two and three thousand pound for a, a service again it's all become unsustainable um i have to question why sometimes how they justify spending three grand on a service but that's the way they are jcb for example a two thousand hour service on this machine if it's carried out by an agricultural dealer is about two thousand two hundred and fifty pound um whereas if you've got the vehicle on hire so excuse the, the, the grubby bits just come back from hire if you have the vehicle on hire all the servicing is all included in that machine so it's we're seeing a lot more now for example what with telehandlers where every farm will have a telehandler because i think you, you'd be lost without one but, but when they come to maybe planting this potatoes or drilling or things like that, they'll bring in the extra machine for the six weeks they want it and then give it back um, and we're seeing the fact that we have machines going to the same farms twice a year for the two busy periods and and as a higher company all we do is we go from one sector of agriculture's busy period to another so whereas certain farms could only utilize the second machine for six weeks of the year or eight weeks of the year we will find or we aim to find 45 or 50 weeks utilization of these machines by moving them around different farms so you may be thinking how is it viable for gcs to own the machinery and maybe not the farmer or the, the hirer well the theory we have it the theory is that in fact if we buy enough of certain products we would certainly like to think that we would get a good price on purchasing the same the servicing and outside if we outsource a lot of our servicing which we do because it's machines across the uk um we'd like to think we get a, a fair rate on the servicing and also we have extended warranties we have on, on new holland tractors we have warranty and servicing built into the purchase price of that tractor so wherever that tractor is in the uk whatever problems it has we're already covered and supported by the local new holland dealer um, very similar with uh, uh, john deere we have different packages with john deere um what from so wherever the tractor is it gets supported um, now we also don't just hire to agriculture we hire into industry we hire into aviation we hire into television for moving film sets and things like that obviously we do the agriculture so we keep our vehicles utilized a fair amount of time we can also tailor we also tailor uh, our vehicles to what the customers want for example we have the safety shield on these john deere tractors where they've been doing some construction work again with the green flashing light on the top there um, and for those people that don't know they might be asking what the green flashing light is for it shows when the seat belt is being connected so that it shows that the driver is wearing his seat belt so it's just a specification that some customers do have so so a large part of our business is agricultural trailer hire and that's a market that without doubt has changed from what we've seen an incredible amount now with farms changing and the cost of the equipment i mean a, a new trailer now a high spec trailer will cost some in the region of about thirty-five thousand pound to buy depending on a little bit on specification of what you have with its size size and things like that now to buy that trailer on finance will probably cost you in the region of about nine thousand pound per year to buy on finance with the high interest rates you're paying so if you only need that trailer for six weeks of the year or eight weeks of the year for harvest you can hire that trailer for probably around about two and a half thousand three thousand pound for the season so you can actually hire that trailer with fully serviced fully checked over on your farm far cheaper than you can actually own it now i think the mindset of of, of people used to be the fact that it was always good to own what you had but i think the far, the, the, the way it's going it's changing and I think people need to consider all options than buying. So with big combines nowadays, where you need six traders to keep up with it, 200,000 pounds worth of investment in traders. 
you could hire them six trailers for sort of 18 grand, 18,000 pounds. So cheaper than owning them, fully serviced, no maintenance. It works. Now, and how we make that work for us is the fact that when we'll go and do early grass with that trailer, we'll do cereals with that trailer, we'll go and do maize and potatoes with that trailer, biomass work, whatever. So we will keep that trailer out for probably 35 to 40 weeks of the year. So that's how we make that viable. So we will move that trailer around the UK and we do move them literally around the UK for, to different sectors of agriculture to keep them busy. So the cost, of, the, the cost of hire actually is cheaper than the cost of ownership. And I absolutely do believe that. And we're seeing that more now because we're, we're getting our customers range from the small farm, the farm that want one trailer for harvest to big farming operations that need 14 or 18 trailers for harvest and what they're doing. So without a doubt, the job is changing. Some of the other benefits of why hire, you get top of the range products, okay? Which if you only want the trailer for six weeks of the year, you wouldn't really want to outlay best part of 20,000 pound for a trailer. You hire the trailer, you get the best products. You know it's been serviced. You know it's been maintained, okay? There really is, and if, and if there's a problem with it, not that we actually get many problems with our trailers, you, you pick the phone up and you have a problem with the lights and the problem with the brakes. And in theory, the customer's problem is solved at the point where they pick the phone up to tell us that there's a problem. It then becomes our responsibility. So wherever that trailer is in the UK, if it's got a problem with the lights, it's got a problem, it's down to us to deal with it. So it takes the pressure of ownership and the risk of totally away from the customer. So the range of benefits, I personally believe are huge. Um, we try to eliminate any problems by sending out our trailers in meticulous order. We do go through them, we have a long checklist of things that we check on them. So you can hire with confidence. And I think, certainly from my experience with some farmers, that they'll use a trailer, they'll put it back in the corner of the yard, and the next time they get it out is in six months time when they want to use it, and, and they never check them over. I'm not saying all farmers are like that, I'm just saying that there certainly are some out there that the only time they get the thing out where they want to use it, and it's so unchecked, where if you hire it, you know it comes to you um, in good order. So if you do hire a trailer, you get a high spec trailer. You can have flotation wheels, you can have super single wheels, we have air brakes, we have ABS on some of our trailers. So you really do get a high spec, top of the range equipment at what I consider to be very, very affordable prices. Right, just to the point I'd like to make about the hire. If you are considering going down the hire route, whether it be a tractor, telehandle, trailer, implement, or whatever, we would strongly ask our customers to inquire or get the or make a booking as early as you can. We, particularly this year, we've had a lot of instances where we, we've had to turn a lot of customers away because they ring us up for six silage trailers to go silaging tomorrow. And unfortunately, we, we pre-booked that. So we have got a lot of bookings for next year, but we would say if you are considering a tractor or anything like that, please talk to us now um, and not a day before you want it because it, it becomes increasingly harder to, to fulfill and service those needs of our customers. So just a thing that if you are considering hire or you'd like to know prices of hire, you'd like to know what's involved, etc., please get in touch with us earlier rather than later um, so we can help you really tailor what we do to, to suit our customers' needs. While I've just said what I've just said, okay, there are occasions that if you are in trouble and you do need to track to the last minute, give us a call. We'll try and help you. But the point we're trying to make is, if you do think you're going to need something long term, need something, give us a call as early as you can. I think that's what I'm trying to say. I think so. We'll go with that. To summarise why I truly believe that hire is the future of machinery and agriculture. The cost of machinery is rising. 
and therefore rather than have large capital outlays and large finance particularly with the high interest rates at the moment you can hire the machine that you want specifically for the period that you need it for you can get the right specification machinery delivered and collected to your farm as and when you need it maintenance free other than the daily checks and any damage the maintenance is carried out by the hirer by, the, by, by, by ourselves which is normally carried out by a main dealer depending where you are in the UK so we've got nationwide coverage of main dealers to support the machinery that we hire to you the cost of that machinery is fully tax deductible it's a total avoidance of any inheritance tax issues while they are still presently enforced with the government so I think there's loads of positives as to why to hire I'm not saying that GCS are the you know um, maybe the only company to go for but there are plenty of other good hire companies out there but I truly believe this is the way it's going to go so sorry this video has been a little bit different but it's just something that I thought was probably quite apt at the moment with the current situation of what's going on with the, with the um, government and inheritance tax so thank you for watching the video I really would welcome any comments that you have on how you see the farm machinery going in agriculture how you think things are going to change and how you think maybe as a high company we should be adapting to suit any needs of any other agriculture out there any forms of agriculture out there so really would welcome your feedback really would welcome your comments as to how we can all move forward um, and try to work together um, for the future so thanks for watching the video if you've liked the video and you've got this far please press the click and please click the subscribe button um, it makes a huge difference to us. So thank you for watching. Thank you.